the core 308 388 is a, a, a lysine gingipane inhibitor. That's how it works. But to understand that, you need to back up a little bit and understand gingipanes. Um, it's based on a very innovative hypothesis about an infectious causal agent in Alzheimer's, uh, which is a bacterium called P. gingivalis. And P. gingivalis is a very unusual bacterium because for two reasons. One is that it gets inside of cells, which most bacteria don't. And the other is that it lives off proteins instead of sugars or carbohydrates, which most bacteria do. So to, to survive, it needs to release these molecules, proteases, which chop up other proteins, which provide the food back to the P. gingivalis bacterium. And this bacterium has been around for decades and known in the dental literature as a keystone pathogen. It's a, one, one of the key causes of gingivitis or in its more severe form, periodontal disease, gum disease. Um, so it's, it's been around for a long time. And dentists have known that you cannot kill this with currently available antibiotics. That seems like an obvious first step because it's a bacterium. Um, but it turns out that this P. gingivalis bacterium or PG um, hides inside of cells where some antibiotics don't go. It lives in these plaques in the mouth um, and biofilms uh, that antibiotics can't penetrate. Uh, it can become dormant, it can become, can become antibiotic resistant, et cetera, et cetera. So you really can't kill it with antibiotics. So we took a totally different and again, innovative approach of targeting these proteases called gingipanes that P. gingivalis gives out. The proteases are going around chopping up everything inside of the cell. They're a little bit like having termites in your brain cell or in your, or in your gum cell. Um, and so we've developed small molecules that bind covalently, which is permanently, uh, to these gingipane proteases and deactivate them. Um, and that does two things. One is it stops all the damage. Um, and the other is that it starves off the food supply to P. gingivalis bacterium. Um, so you see the bacterial level go down. Now they can go dormant and things like that. So it's, it's, it's very difficult to eliminate them completely. Um, but, but that's the P ginger pain hypothesis of Alzheimer's is that this infection, once it gets into the brain, is causing Alzheimer's and that um, our, and, and, and our lead molecule, CORE388, or as it's now known, a stat, blocks these gingipane proteases, which blocks all the damage and then uh, uh, starves off and, and, and reduces the, the level of P. gingivalis.